It's sort of an interesting point. I just also interviewed Elaine Roberts and her new work on um, slavery as an African-American chattel slavery in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. And the, the part that really stood out was your book was that we have so many different forms of, of slavery, of um, debt peonage, of Native American slavery. Can you, can you just run us through a little bit of like what what are we, what is, what, what's, what do we have in the West with regard to this um, unfree labor? Yeah, that's a good fundamental question. And it's, I'm with you, it's hard to keep track of it all um, because they're basically, if you wanted to coerce the labor of others, if you wanted to own the labor of others and not pay anything for it, there were a lot of ways to do it in the far Southwest. Um, so one way would be to bring your enslaved African-American with you, um, you know, move from say Texas to New Mexico or what would become the territory of Arizona. Um, you could do that legally by the late 1850s. You could do that legally into Utah. You could do it quasi legally in California. Um, and uh, hundreds of slaveholders took this route. Um, the estimate, Stacy Smith's really the best on this uh, in, in the history of slavery in California. Um, the estimate is somewhere between 500 and 1500 enslaved African-Americans uh, labored in California in the antebellum era. Probably only a hundred in Utah, probably only about a hundred in New Mexico, a far, far greater number of uh, coerced indigenous laborers. Um, the numbers are really hard to, to, to pin down, um, but thousands and thousands. Uh, and they labored in all forms of, um, of, of coercive labor arrangements. So on the borderlands markets, you could buy um, a captive native slave outright um, and own his or her labor for life. Uh, you could also entrap them in lifelong cycles of debt, known as debt peonage. Um, and that debt was, uh, was also heritable. So it would pass from a peon, uh, from a peon to a peon's offspring, um, and so the result is that this uh, that this form of unfree labor is in a lot of ways as perpetual as African American chattel slavery in the South, um, or maybe almost as perpetual as it was in the South. 